the Katins coming up in a couple of days. So you've got to charge your batteries now while you've got the chance. Try to stay with the breath in a way that's energizing. Not a frenetic energy, but just a, a deep, solid strength inside that you'll be able to draw on as events unfold. Because when you're dealing with a lot of people, you're dealing with a lot of different opinions, a lot of different ways of thinking. There are bound to be clashes, there are bound to be conflicts. You try to minimize them as much as you can. Let the conflict stay outside. Don't bring it inside where it eats away at your heart. And try to keep your inner strength as strong as, as possible. Learn how to protect it. Find a spot in the body that's your spot where you feel settled and secure. And try to keep your attention right there, because that helps strengthen that spot. Actually, the more you pay attention to it, the more the spot gets strengthened, and then the more you're able to draw on it when you need it. So we have a day or two left before the really bad chores come in, the really heavy ones come in. So try to make the most of this time. Even if you're not just meditating, you're doing other things, but try to maintain that sense of the center and make sure it doesn't get knocked off in the midst of the activity. This is one of the important skills we need as we meditate, is to have this sense of a center. And maybe any spot in the body. It doesn't have to be in the center of the body. Some people find it's easy to pay attention to the back of the hands or to the feet. Some place in the body where you feel grounded. That's your spot and nobody else can invade. And a spot where you gather your strength and they can use your strength when you need it. Because the defilements come up not only when you're sitting here with your eyes closed, they can come up at any time at all. You'd be dealing not only with your defilements, but other people's defilements, and that's a, it's like a perfect storm. So try to keep your defilements at bay, and keep your mind as strong as possible as we go through the Gatin. And make it a meritorious occasion. That's what it's all about. We're trying to make merit. In other words, do good things. Things that are helpful find happiness in a way that's good for you and good for the people around you. And we keep that in mind. All the, the work of the Gaten becomes a lot lighter. And it really does become an occasion for rejoicing. <laughs>